So it might be an unpopular opinion, but I'm actually not a big fan of using batter fried fish for things like tacos or a sandwich. Because I find that by the time you kind of add your fresh toppings or your sauces or whatever, that breading gets a little bit soggy on the outside and it's not as enjoyable compared to what I prefer, which is this tonkatsu style with the panko breadcrumbs. It stands up a lot better from that maximum surface area of the breadcrumbs. And essentially this is just like fish sticks in a taco form. But by the time you sit down with a stack of tortillas, you put on some fresh toppings, you'll go through like five or six of these and then you'll be like, wow, that was damn delicious. Kind of wish I had some more. But anyway, let's walk through the recipe and break it down. To start, grab out the white fish of your choice and cut them into a rough rectangular shape to fit the size of whatever tortilla you're using. Now, I'm using lingcod here that I caught on a fishing charter on the coast of Washington, but other options include other types of cod, tilapia, striped bass, catfish, or really any white fish will probably turn out fine. Also to cut these, you can see that the grain is running in one direction and I'm slicing across that so it creates those flake apart pieces while taking a bite of the fried chunks. With the fish pieces cut, just sprinkle them with a bit of salt and optionally you could let these dry brine in the fridge for an hour or overnight if you want to. But meanwhile, before breading, we're gonna set a wok on medium low heat and add enough peanut oil for deep frying about two inches up the pan. Now, just like we've done a bunch of times on the channel, get out three trays and add 40 grams of cornstarch with 80 grams of flour to one, about 100 grams of panko breadcrumbs to the second, and finally, a couple beaten eggs to the third. With the breading station set up, using your hands or a fork, just dip the fish sticks into the flour, coating the exterior of those, before moving it over to the beaten egg to do the same, and then finally into the panko. And you really wanna press those fish pieces into the breadcrumbs to make sure they stick on the exterior and do not fall off when frying, and then just repeat that process with all of your pieces. Now at the stove, verify the temperature of the oil is about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you can slowly drop in the fish pieces. I did about five to six at a time. These don't take too long to fry, maybe about four to six minutes until they're perfectly golden brown, but you do want to agitate them slightly to ensure that hot oil keeps moving around the fish to create that crust. Once golden brown and delicious, just move the fish pieces to a paper towel to kind of dab off some of that excess oil, and then you can move it down to the metal portion and repeat the frying process for all of your fish. Now with the fish done, just add a little sprinkle of salt over top. And additionally, I'm going to be adding some lime zest too, which gives us some of that kind of citrusy notes. And it works really well since we are using these in a taco form. The lime zest just helps that flavor really pop and just let me crack into one of these beautiful pieces. Now feel free to devour one of the two plain pieces like I did, but now let's assemble the taco. I warmed up some corn tortillas on the griddle and then just placed one down and added a little drizzle of hot sauce to the bottom. I followed that with the fried fish over top and then added a drizzle of QP mayo, some pickled onions, and cilantro. Now, sometimes I'll make a slaw, but I kind of like the simplicity of these fresh components that I chose. Really, you could use whatever you wanted to here, but now, let us consume. All right, ladies and gents, let's get into this taste test. I mean fried fish, just a couple of extra toppings. Let's do this thing. I mean, it's a great taco. It's, it's super simple, a little fried fish. And then I, I just like, I really love this combination of the QP mayo with the Cholula. 
a little bit of acidity from our pickled onions, as you guys know. Whatever you throw on these, you're gonna have a delicious thing, or you don't even make tacos. You know, you could throw this on a sandwich, you could use this in a salad. It's gonna hold up really well and just, it just, it just flakes apart so nicely. That's just, oh, the white fish is so beautiful. Um, so go get yourself some fish, try out this recipe. It does not take that long, um, but that's gonna wrap it up for me. Recipe will be up on the website if you guys wanna check it out. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.